All right, what we're going to do is problem number 44 on page 438. It was Monday 49. Did I say 48? Yeah, I meant 49. 49 on page 438. There we go. Huh? Am I okay, or did you make the mistake? Anyway, we got it right now. Question number 49 on page 438. And what I'm going to do is just go through the given here real quickly because I want to make this video as short as we can make it. We're given in this problem the density. Anybody remember what the density is? 1.09 grams per what? Liter. Liter. Good. Okay. Now, they didn't give us STP in this problem, and that makes this problem different than the last one. There you go. So we are given pressure. Pressure is 1.02 atmospheres, and we have a temperature in centigrade. So we got to change that over right away to? Yeah, plus 273 makes it into Kelvin. So that gives us 298 Kelvin. And by the way, we are taking this video during period five on Ooh. hooray for period five on on the twenty third. Yes, yes, twenty third of March, two thousand ten. Can't get out of the nineteen hundreds. All right, now I am going to in this case because we are trying to find the molar mass. Now, like I showed in the last problem, where we were doing grams per liter, that was our find there, and they wanted us to find density, and you notice I put these units of measure here so I could see what the world I was talking about, what I needed to find. Now, when I have molar mass that I'm trying to find, what am I looking for? What over what? Grams over moles. And where do we get that normally? from the chart, periodic table. Good. So now that I have this little guy, if I set my moles equal to 1, I love doing that because it makes calculations easy. Let's make moles equal to 1. N is 1 mole. Okay. And now what I want to do is solve for volume. And so I have my PVNRT for, uh, formula. formula. Thank you. For which PV and RT, there we go. And pressure, I'm taking it from right up here, 1.02 atmospheres. And my volume here, N is 1. That makes the calculation easy, doesn't it? 0 0.082 is my R. And temperature was set at um, 298 times 298, and that's Kelvin's. Now, let's do the calculation on that. It's going to be fairly simple. 0 0.0821 times 298, and divide by 1.02. And the number we come up with here is our volume in liters. So the volume is equal to 23, actually 24 when we round. It's 24.0. Now that I've got the 24.0, can anybody see what's going to happen next? I'm going to use that density. What's, good, what's the density going to give me when I multiply it times volume? It, it, well, yeah, it will give us how many grams we have. And since I set the moles to 1, that will be the molar mass because that will be the number of grams that one mole is equal to. Remember, these guys are all related now because they're all under the same starting conditions. So I have my 109 atmospheres. Oh, no, grams. And that's over one liter. That's our density from up here. And now I'm going to multiply times the volume that we just found. This is in liters. 24.00 liters over 1. And now when I multiply those two guys, what am I going to have? My grams that equals 1 mole, huh? Yeah, 24 times 1.09, and that's going to be equal to 26 
Yeah, that's about right. And that's going to be grams, 26.2 when we round. Can you see the calculator numbers okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. And the, that will give us our grams. And that is equal to one mole. So that's our molar mass, which says 26.2 grams per mole. That's it.